Okay, so let's talk about maneuvering between these new things called branches that we just discovered about. It's super easy um, if we call get branch to show us our branches. We have master, that dot tells us that's what we're currently on. And we have car, that branch we just created with a car branch. We're going to try to write a car story or in, incorporate cars somehow in that, st in that other branch. So all I have to do is just do get checkout car. And boom, we switched. We are now in the car branch. Now remember that checkout command. That's kind of why before, when we did that with commit, I was having you be super careful and explicit when you use that because you don't want Git to confuse when you say check out a commit, meaning check out a branch. Git can get very confused if you do that. Normally, we're using it to check out a branch. So that's kind of why, you know, the default is going to think it's a branch unless we tell it, no, actually, this is a commit file or something like that. Anyway, though, let's make some changes now because both of these commits or both of these branches are going to point to the same thing. Now, if we look at branch, okay, now that dot has moved. Now we're on the car branch. Let's, let's look at what's inside of this branch. What? That, well, that can't be right. You know, that, that, that's what was in our master branch. Why is this all in this branch? Well, remember, our master is kind of like our trunk. You don't have a branch without a trunk. You know, you don't just say, hey, there's a branch just floating in the air. No, it's attached to a trunk. And all the files it gets from that trunk are on that branch as well. So from our head in master, we created a branch. When we said get branch uh, for the car, when we created that car branch, you know, we were telling it, make a branch from this commit, from this head that I'm on. I want to make a new branch sprouting off from this. So we're going to have all the files that were in that commit from master. And both of these branches right now actually point to the same thing. Remember that visual where we had master C commit and it spawned off of it were two other commits. Well, really, Git doesn't need to do that. Git doesn't need to copy that whole commit and bring it down. It just says that's where that's where our dad is. That's where parent is. It's going to point to the parent. Well, there's no commit afterwards that's new. So it's saying, well, we're, we're still on this commit. There's nothing new. So both of these point to the same parent. Both of these really are master A commit, master C commit. I'm sorry, the latest master C commit. We need to make a change in order to really show the difference. Let's go ahead and do that. So I want to say, let's open up chapter one. Okay, and I want to say, now this is a car story. Yeah, we're going to add some cars in there. I'm going to save it. Let's do get status. Okay, we've modified it. It's on our, in our working directory. Let's add it. Make sure it's added. Perfect. Get commit dash M added car storyline. Okay, now if I do get log one line. Now look, this was the latest commit that we had made in our master file. This is our new commit now that we added to our car branch. And now some of you are like, okay, well, you know, that must have been added to the master too. No. Remember, we're on different branches now. This is where we kind of spawned off into two. So they're all going to be the same up until this point. And just to prove that to you, because I know some of you are doubting me, let's just confirm. We got to clean here. Okay, so let's check out now the master branch. So now we switch to master. If we look at branch, we're pointing at the master branch now. Now if I do git log one line, <gasps> that commit isn't there. So a lot of you are, you know, probably giggling right now because you just realize how exciting this really is. And I know it's crazy. You can do so much with this branching technology. It's awesome. You can spawn off new projects, make new things, all while protecting your master. And that's really probably the key element you're going to find with branching and why you use it is you want to protect the master. You want to make sure your master is clean, beautiful, working code, and the branches are for you to mess around and screw with. So another thing now I want to talk about is what if we want to create and switch a branch at the same time? Well, for that, it's fairly easy. Um, let's just again confirm here. This is where our master branch is. So we're going to spawn a new branch off of this commit. So it, that new branch is going to contain all of this stuff. So now I just want to do git checkout 
dash B, and that dash B means switch to it. We're going to check it out and switch to it, make it and switch to it at the same time. So I'm going to do check out a new branch, and then let's call this new branch um, boat. Switch to a new branch boat. Look at that. It did exactly what I wanted to do. Just to prove it to you, if I do get branch, now we're on a new branch called boat. If we look at the log for that boat, notice how it is absolutely identical to the master because that's where we checked it out from. It's going to carry all of those old things. Now, another quick thing I want to show you guys is remember when we were talking about the git log, how you saw those stars on the end and you saw that command of dot graph. And my fun little combo, decorate, and the all means all commits across all branches. Oh, and of course, I misspell one line again. I keep doing that. Apologies. So notice now how this is where the master boat branches point to this head. And this is where we currently are. Because remember, we're on the boat branch. So this is where our head is. It's in this one. The car branch is a couple commits ahead really just one, but this is where the car branch is. Now, if I had a bunch of these, actually what would be cool is you would see these graphs kind of move around. They would spawn off. They would be different because they would be different than the master. Um, so that's kind of cool. Actually, let's see if we can do that real quick. Let's do um, touch. So I'm just going to make some generic boat file here. Boat.txt, touch, um, you know, boat2.txt. Let's just do a git add all of those, git commit, added boat files. Okay, now if I do that git log command, now you can see, look how cool that is, right? This is our boat command, right? And it shows you've split. This commit and this commit theoretically happen at the same time, but there, there's, difference, there's differences in them. We would need to merge them or do something different. I mean, if you have a lot of these, you could potentially have this huge screen full of all your different branches. And it's a very useful kind of visual technique to see, okay, well, you know, I need to bring this car back into merge uh, with the boat branch. How am I going to do that? That's what I need to do. Blah, 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 blah. So hopefully after, you know, this big kind of thing, you're comfortable switching and, you know, maneuvering between branches. You've got the log down. You've got the graph. Um, extension of the git log to be able to see, you know, visually and conceptually understand the branches. Again, before we close this video, branches are incredibly important in git. If you are having trouble, please Google it more, Bing it, Yahoo it, whatever fits your fancy. Look up Stack Overflow questions, look up the git documentation, rewatch videos on YouTube. Understanding the branches in git and being able to maneuver between them seamlessly is extremely important. Make sure conceptually you understand how branches work.